Welcome back to Big Board. We're playing Winter War from SPI. It goes way back to uh, early days of SPI, which I think I mentioned to you guys earlier on. Um, so let's do this. Let's, I, for those, uh, I mentioned in my blog post that you, know, you all may know a whole bunch about the Winter War that occurred in 1939 and that uh, we didn't really need to talk too much about the background of it. But it, it is an interesting situation where uh, the you know the USSR was becoming concerned about the growth of the Nazis and the uh, uh, the um, the uh, we've ju we just played case case wide, so we saw uh, Poland fall, and then the Soviets were worried about being exposed uh, in you know in areas around Leningrad, Leningrad and Murmansk, and so. Uh, it was uh, the Soviets thinking that if they, if the Germans moved into Finland, uh, they would uh, have some issues, and they requested that Finland turn over land north of Leningrad and uh, do uh, some things in exchange. You know, they'd uh, give some uh, worthless forest lands uh, in uh, Karelia as a, and then sign some sort of trade and defense agreement. Well, the Finns, being uh, what is wrong with my dog? Uh, the Finns being proud folks that they are and very anti-communist decided that uh, that just was not an option. And if you read any of the books, you'll see that the USSR really thought that there would be this massive uprising and the Finns would, uh, the populace would embrace uh, communism and that the war would be over very, very quickly. And uh, there was a, uh, I think the original invasion was planned for much earlier than November, but due to a uh, fair amount of bungling and uh, missteps. Uh, the, the, the guys, the Russians really didn't step off the line until much later in, uh, in the year, in November. I think it was like, uh, well, it's here on the turn chart, Kevin. Uh, November 30th. So it was getting pretty cold up that way by that time. Anyway, uh, there was really no negotiating and uh, there you really looked at uh, two very, uh, an asymmetrical situation where the, the Finns have about 3 million people in the country and the Soviets have 100 million or more. Uh, but over a three month uh, period, uh, this was uh, a situation where the Finns fought the Russians basically to a, not a stalemate, but to a negotiated peace is the way I look at it. Uh, they realized they weren't going to win. They were in a strong enough position that they could negotiate terms as opposed to uh, being crushed entirely. So uh, that's kind of the situation. Now, that, what does that mean to us as, as to where the pieces are now? Uh, I've already posted a few photographs up online of uh, opening situation, and we're now looking at the end of movement uh, for turn two, which would be around the 10th of December time frame for the turn. And uh, there are a couple of interesting things. The opening moves by the Soviets were fairly modest and not terribly aggressive. They made a couple of attacks down in this area and a couple of attacks here. Uh, I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit for you so you can see the full breadth of the map. Goes all the way up over to there, the Mets moments up there. And uh, there's a couple of little uh, special rules. The Soviets, as of turn three onwards, have to have seven units up in this area, not including headquarters, if they indeed want to have headquarters up there. And uh, they uh, have to, whoa, hang on a second. I thought I broke my stand, but I don't believe it did. That was just as well. Um, and they have, to, uh, they have to keep all these uh, strong show you these guys uh, these these cores uh, hey focus oh come on dude you get the picture can you see that I can barely see that that's when I had my eyes tested today and I'm not, oh, you know why I'm zoomed in there we go well wow we really have issues I may have to edit this out for you Huh. Trust me, that says 20. Oh, that's annoying. All right, uh, my camera has stopped uh, focusing the way I want it to. Well, 
we'll see what happens. All right, uh, I forget where I was at. You know what, I'm just gonna stop here and we'll fix this up later.